Boom. Okay. Important, important, important. Everybody always, always, always wants to assume that this line right here, this dotted line, is the same as this one up here, this big vector. They are not the same. Okay? It's this vector being broken down into two parts. This D, DE, this would be line segment DE, has no bearing on this guy here. Okay? This little dotted line underneath it and this dotted line here together make up this one. Okay, that's the, that is always, always, always one of the biggest problems that I see students make when trying to solve free body diagrams, okay? So, we've broken everything down into X and Y. Now we're going to see if there are any, uh, any ones that we can solve right off the get-go, okay? So, I'm, I'm going to do this on a separate sheet of paper because this gets a little bit more involved. Equation, the sum of all the forces in the Y direction equals zero, okay? We'll start with that one. I, I, don't, I always start with Y. I don't know, but I do. So let's list all the lines that are going, y is up and down. So we have one, okay? One, two, and three, okay? This one's given, this one's given, this one's unknown, all right? So to help us do this mathematically, this one right here is going up at 975. Well, up is positive, so 975. Plus, this one is going down at 1,000. Down is negative, so I'm going to write negative 1,000. Plus, okay, this one here, all right? Now, this is line segment DB, DB, okay? And we're going to talk about the line segment DB in the Y direction, this portion of it, okay? So line segment DB in the Y direction. When you add all of these up, they equal zero. Well, we can find out. This is only one unknown. We can find out this really easy. Positive 975 plus a negative 1,000. We're left with negative 25. I'm just going to simplify this. Plus line segment DB in the Y direction equals zero. Well, we're going to add 25 and add 25. All right. Oops. This doesn't cancel. Uh, DB in the y direction equals, excuse me, positive 25. So positive 25, it's going up at 25. So up at 25, all right? Now this is not a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So it's this, the x direction will not be 25. We'll actually have to solve that, okay? So we know all the, all the forces in the y direction going up and down are all solved. This one's going up at 975, this one's going down at 1000, this one's going up at 25, okay? So these two together are pushing up at 1000, this one's pushing down at 1000, okay? So it equals zero. That's, that's all this is. All right? Now, we're going to look at the y direction, okay? The y direction. Which ones do we have in the y direction? Well, we have this one. This is a positive 975. So the sum of all the forces in the, in the, excuse me, the x direction equals zero. This is in the x direction. So 975 plus, all right? Well, what, what other ones do we have? Well, we have this one right here, this, this one right here, which is DE, so line segment DE plus, and then we also have, again, the dotted line right here. This vector right here is pushing in the x direction, but at what? We don't know. Okay, so that's going to be um, db in the, uh, in the x direction. Those three added together equal zero, but guess what? We have two unknowns. We can't solve it. But we can. We can find out db in the x direction by solving this triangle. All right, so this angle here is 56.3, all right? We need to solve the adjacent, and we have the opposite, all right? So I'm going to come back to my little equation sheet. We have theta, okay? We have the, we need to find the adjacent, and we have the opposite. So which one would we use? Well, opposite and adjacent and tangent. Those are the three pieces that we're using to solve, okay? So we're going to try and find db in the x direction. 
So, how do we do that? Well, let's just write our equation. Tangent, all right, of, and this is 56.3 degrees. This is still the same angle. So 56.3 degrees, okay? So tangent of 56.3 degrees equals the opposite, 25, if this is the angle, this is the opposite side, 25 over, and then the unknown that we're trying to find, which is dB in the x direction. Well, how do we get dB by itself? Okay, we're going to multiply both sides by dB in the x direction. That's going to cancel there. dB in the x direction, okay? And then we're going to divide by tangent of 56.3 divide by 56.3, okay? So you're left with this. dB in the x direction equals 25 divided by the tangent of 56.3, okay? We did a step exactly like this earlier. So let's do it. So I'm gonna turn on my calculator, I'm gonna clear, I'm gonna do 25 divided by the tangent of 56.3. 16 point, and I'll just say 7, 16.7. All right, now which direction? What's the sense of this? Well, if it's up, it's got to be up. So it's got to be up and to the left. So this is going to the left at 16 point, and I'm just going to say uh, 7. I'm going to round it to 16.7. All right? So we've just solved dB in the x direction, which is 16.7, okay? Okay. Well, is it positive or negative? It's negative, okay, because it's going, it's going to the left, and, then, and to the left is negative. So I have 975 pushing to the right. I have 16.7 pushing to the left, okay, and then I also have this unknown one right here, which I can already tell you is going to be pushing to the left, but we'll solve it mathematically, okay? So 975 minus 16.7, I'm just going to say minus 16.7, plus... Uh, DE equals zero, okay? Well, let's combine these two. 975 minus 16.7, okay? So I have 958.3 plus DE equals zero. I'm going to subtract 958.3 from both sides. And you find out that DE equals negative 958.3. Okay? Well, what's, which way is negative? It's going to the left. So this one's going to the left at 958.3. All right? Now, is everything solved? Not yet. Still need to solve for the hypotenuse of this guy. Okay? So for this one, we're going to just use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So 25 squared plus 16.7 squared. That's C squared. How do you undo a square? You square root it. So square root of that answer that I just solved for gives me 30.06. I'm just going to say 30. Okay? 30. All right. So that one is done. We've solved the unknown. Well, we already had this one done. We solved for this unknown. We also solved for this unknown. We're going to take this information. We're going to update our free body diagram. Jump back to this. All right. Now, do we have the directions? We knew that this one is going to the left at 958.3. So if this, one, if this end is pointing away from the number, this end has to be pointing away from the number. Compression. All right. Now, we have this guy here. We said that this is 30. And it's going up and to the left. It's pointing away from the number. So this side, this end here, has to be pointing away from the number. Okay? So there we go. We've solved that. So now this one has one unknown, and this one has uh, one unknown as well. Okay? So this is the last, last piece that we really have to solve. All right? Then this thing's done. So I'm going to go up to E. All right, because we want to get some more practice with all these multiple vectors and, and breaking things down. Okay, so I'm going to set this guy aside. I'm going to set this aside. 